You read Lung? No. 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 Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to You, Me, and the TV. Or welcome to You, Me, and the TV. As we're starting a new show today. Yeah? With a familiar character, though. I'd like to eat your liver with some fava beans and a nice bottle of Chianti. Oh, yeah. Hannibal Lecter. Sweet. Starring Mad, Mads Mikkelsen as Hannibal. Cool. And maybe some other faces that are newer, familiar to us So on, on the cast. So it should be fun. I'm interested to see how different from the movies we've watched mm -hmm. this is and if they're adapting a book that might be familiar or if it's all new stories kind of things, right? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've not read the book, so I wouldn't know if they but were or not. We've watched all three Anthony Hopkins Hannibal movies. So. Yes, they're all very good. So, yeah, what are you, what are you looking forward to in Hannibal? I am I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I mean, I... In, meals to cook? I enjoy Some a recipes. serial killer story. Yeah. She loves so, serial killers. I don't love serial killers. I just enjoy a serial killer story. Like, I think the mass majority of women, we love it. Yeah, you guys are weird. I love to listen to podcasts and stuff but about I, that I shit. I do remember the first time I watched Dexter, you said, I love serial killers. So Yeah, well, I misspoke. <laughs> no, I think that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Well, uh, should we dish up and see what's in store for us for Hannibal? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. For the new show, Hannibal. Hannibal. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, or if you want to watch full-length commentaries alongside with us. Right down there. Check out the link. Alongside with us. Sorry. He's, I don't know. Shakespearean language. Yeah. Alongside with us. <laughs> Sometimes it pops out. <laughs> Oh, yes, on Twitter and Instagram. So if you're into social media, you can follow us at You Me the Movies. Follow alongside of us. <laughs> social media. I'm so sorry. Let's watch Hannibal. Here we go. So loud. in the zone is this the detective from what red dragon perhaps i don't remember how you used to like picture how that happened yeah i hate this fucking noise though what is this god i hope they don't do this all the time he's rewinding the world so you have to rewind it with such annoyance, annoying sounds. Oh god. She has ear issues. Why? Oh, he did this. This is to Marlowe twice, severing jugulars and carotids with near surgical precision. He will die watching me take what is his away from him. This is my design. I shoot Mrs. Marlowe expertly through the neck. This is not a fatal wound. The bullet misses every artery. She's paralyzed before it leaves her body. I need the incident report for the home security company. He didn't shoot him. I know, he's... <laughs> Putting himself in the killer shoes. Right, right. Everyone has thought about killing someone one way or another. Be it your own hand or the hand. Quantico. Of Welcome on back to Quantico. <laughs> Woods near Quantico, Virginia. Oh, Quantico. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Quantico. <laughs> <sighs> That's why I married oh my you. God, I'm such an idiot. Quantico. Duh. Golly. Such an idiot. <laughs> How embarrassing. Tell me your design. 
tell me who you are. Lawrence Fishburne. Larry. One of your favorite actors. Freaking love Larry. So you've hitched your horse to a teaching post, and I also understand it's difficult for you to be social. Well, I'm just talking at them. I'm not listening to them. It's it's not social. <laughs> My horse is hitched to a post that is closer to Asperger's and autistics than narcissists and sociopaths. <laughs> We're calling them abductions because you don't have any bodies. No bodies, no parts of bodies, nothing that comes out of bodies, nothing. All of them abducted on a Friday so they wouldn't have to be reported missing until Monday. Now, however, he's covering his tracks. Yeah, they wouldn't miss class until Monday. Hmm. So you notice. The golden ticket wouldn't be the first taken, and she wouldn't be the last. He would um, hide how special she was. Yeah. I mean, I would. Wouldn't you? I want you to get closer to this. No. Oh. You have a very specific way of thinking about things. There have been a lot of discussion about the uh, specific way, I think. Comparing girls to Wonka bars is kind of interesting. <laughs> Unique. Duluth, Minnesota. She looks like the other girls. Yes, she fits the profile. Could Elise still be alive? That's what we're hoping for. How's your cat? Elise was supposed to feed it. Was the cat weird when you came home? Terry, get the cat. I probably saw something. The Nichols house is a crime scene. I need ERT immediately. I want Zeller, Cass, and Jimmy Price. Yes, and a photographer. Why is it now a crime scene? Because she fed the cat. And you just said she doesn't like to leave the house. So. Elise, I need you to leave the room. They brought, he brought him, brought her back? What the fuck? We'll be downstairs. You let me know when you're ready for us to come in. When would somebody have had time to bring her back? Was it while they were there? Yeah, he, they said that they cops just left there and that they've been in and out all day long, right? The window's open. I hate the fucking clicking. I hate that. Bouncing from ear to ear. I fucking hate it. Graham. You're not supposed to be in here. You found antler velvet in two of the wounds. You, uh, not real FBI? Just stabbed by horns? The rack? Screening procedures. Detects instability. You unstable? Totally. Hold on, excuse me. The, the, look, deer and elk pin their prey, okay? They put all their weight into their nails to try and suffocate a victim. Yeah, somebody stabbed her with a rack. Actually promotes healing. He may have put it there on purpose. You think he was trying to heal her? He wanted to undo as much as he could, given that he'd already killed her. He put her back where he found her. That's fucked up. Is she a golden ticket? She this was a golden, golden ticket. ticket. <laughs> Wolf Trap, Virginia. I'm reading so you don't have to. I can read. I know, but you have to go like this. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Give him a bath. Now they're not going to recognize it if you take it to the owner. <laughs> it's too clean. Everybody? This is Winston. <laughs> <laughs> He's a collector. I one had a yeah, collar I, on. I know he right? had a leash. Like, he belongs <laughs> to somebody. People don't put leashes on stray dogs. Great. Fucking creepy ass dreams. Love it. Are you sweating? Mm hmm. What are you doing in here? I enjoy the smell of urinal cake. Me too. We need to talk. Use the ladies' room! <laughs> he doesn't want these girls to suffer. He kills them quickly and. to his thinking, with mercy. 
sensitive psychopath. How Risked getting caught. Killing a stranger merciful. He knows he's gonna get caught. One way or the other. Sensitive psychopath, huh? I got you. Metal shavings? She's the golden ticket that he's kidnapping girls that look like her. She, he works with her. Man. I've never been in a room alone with Will. Why not? Because I want to be his friend. Well, and she I fits am. the profile too, doesn't she? I wouldn't put him out there. He's out there. I need him out there. Should he get too close, I need you to make sure he's not out there alone. You got a Mulder and Scully sort of situation happening, huh? Don't let him get too close. He won't. Get too close. Well, he already has gotten too close. He's seeing her in his dreams. Piece of metal is all we got. Yeah, we should be looking at plumbers, steam fitters, tool workers, farmers, welders, machinists. Like, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hanger on antlers? I think his imagination just is meant to terrify the rest of us. <laughs> There's something wrong with the meat. She has liver cancer. Yeah, he's, um, he's eating them. Yummy. Baltimore, Maryland. Our brain is designed to experience anxiety in short bursts, not the prolonged duress your neurosis seem to enjoy. It's why you feel as though a lion were on the verge of devouring you. Are you understanding anything he's fucking saying? What? That accent is thick. I'm a special agent, Jack Crawford, FBI. May I come in? Franklin, I'll see you next week. Y yes. Unless, of course, this is about him. No, this is all about you. Who else is into eating liver? Hmm. No secretary? She was predisposed to romantic whims. Followed her heart to the United Kingdom. <laughs> Do you think he ate her? Him? His secretary. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So many learned fellows going about in the halls of behavioral science at the FBI. And you consider yourself a layman. I do when I'm in your company, Doctor. I need you to help me with a psychological profile. This is before they know Hannibal's yeah. a cannibal. Sure, sure. Thoughts are often not tasty. No mine. No effective barriers. Oh, I build forts. Associations come quickly. So do forts. <laughs> Enough. And, and it's hard to focus when you're thinking, um, oh, those whites are really white, or he must have hepatitis, or oh, is that a burst vein? I try to avoid eyes whenever possible. Jack? Makes him think too much. Hmm. Please don't psychoanalyze me. You won't like me when I'm psychoanalyzed. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a weird roundabout callback to Edward Norton playing Will Graham. Edward Norton also played the Hulk, and you won't like the Hulk when he's angry. <laughs> this cannibal you have him getting to know. I think I can help Goodwill see his face. He understands cannibals pretty well. <laughs> Oi. Hibbing, Minnesota. Minneapolis homicides already made a statement. They're calling him the Minnesota Shrike. He wanted her found this way. She's, she's petulant. She's got the golden ticket. She's got no. No. Yeah, I feel like he was going to do that to the other girl, but then her she had liver cancer, so he brought her back and then grabbed this one for his trophy or presentation. Mm -hmm. he took her lungs. I'm pretty sure she was alive when he cut him out. What the fuck? 
does he have lungs for? You think this was a copycat? The cannibal who killed Elise Nichols had a place to do it and no interest in in field kabuki. So, you know, an intelligent psychopath? Very hard to catch. There's no traceable motive. There'll be no patterns. He may never kill this way again. Is Did Lecter do this one? Yeah. He's doing a copycat. He's like, oh, this guy's... What the fuck's he doing in Minnesota, though? I don't know. You read lung? No. 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 The adventure will be yours and mine today. May I come in? Oh, he's in Minnesota with them, huh? Oh, well, there you go. That's what he's doing in Minnesota. A little protein scramble to start the day. Some eggs, some sausage. Long sausage? delicious thank you my pleasure he must get off feeding human to human people, to people yeah. yeah god forbid we become friendly i don't find you that interesting you will <laughs> yeah you kind of should find him really interesting the mongoose i went under the house when the snakes slid by <laughs> is that a compliment <laughs> I think so. What are we looking for? At this stage, anything really, but mostly anything peculiar. Like the foreman's assistant? What is it about Garrett Jacob Hobbs you find so peculiar? I left a phone number, no address. And therefore he has something to hide. I got it. He did that on purpose. Yeah, he did. What's he grabbing? You don't know me, and I suspect we'll never meet. This is a courtesy call. Listen very carefully. He's tipping him off. They know. <laughs> God, I love Hannibal. They know. Why he's, does he want him? He's playing with his food. To know. Oh, you, he's going to eat him? Well, maybe. Residents of Garrett Jacob Hobbs. Hobbs. Oh, jeez. Still his own wife's neck. Oh, God, stop the bleeding. The Campbell wanted to see what this cornered animal would do, knowing they were coming. Mm -hmm. Call 911. Hannibal's going with her. Where's Graham? You said he wouldn't get too close. Needs a break after that, huh? Yeah, he got all up in there. <laughs> well. Episode one down. What are you thinking? Yeah. I was interested to see how they were going to do this. If it was going to be like one murder for murderer for the whole series mm -hmm. or season. Or if we're getting or multiple we're different storylines. Well, based on this first episode. They're, maybe every episode they're hunting a different killer. It's a lot of murderers. <laughs> the 13th episode of the season. Mm. I'm sure they'll probably stretch some out over two episodes. But pilot, they've kind of had to probably just do one, right? Could be. So... But yeah, interesting. What do you think Hannibal's holding that girl's like what? I don't know. I don't know the intention. Yeah, remember Hannibal is an interesting. I know. Character. Knowing he always has a like, it's always somebody who's wronged him that he kills, right? 
Yeah, but why did he kill that one girl in the field then? If he did. Well, I'm pretty sure it was her lungs that he was eating. Or that could have just been, you know, juxtaposition to throw you off. Yeah, and, I guess. Unless the copycat is the ultimate killer of the whole shit, like, of the season, and he's going to be copycatting other killers throughout the season kind of thing. I don't thing. know. I don't know. So, yeah. We haven't seen Hannibal get his hands dirty yet, so. Nope, not physically. He's just been... Making meals. Just eating people's But he organs. definitely f- fed Will some Organ long, long sausage there. Huh? Yeah. It was egg scramby. Yep. Yummy. I'm interested to see where the rest of the season goes. I just, I'm not sure how they're going to utilize Hannibal and... Yeah. Well, they've brought him on to be a profile. His intention's so. just always confusing, right? Yeah, like he's, a, he's You know what he is. Nobody else does. Right. And then you just don't know why he does exactly what he does Mm -hmm. always so because from the movie red dragon he had admiration for will but it was only when will got onto him that he attacked him right Right. they were friends and then like his relationship with clarice was the same way Mm -hmm. he admired clarice and would never he loved clarice he loved clarice he would hurt her he'd hurt himself before he hurt which made it all the more confusing yeah Mm -hmm. so intention with him is is and then it's not uh, always clear. The guard at the prison, mm-hmm. he was friends with as well. So he does take people in and not put them on his list, so to speak. So, so, it's hard to know. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll learn more about Hannibal. Well, I hope so. The fun thing about this is we'll see he's an awesome character. Definitely. Yeah, and very just, intriguing. Just, just the what he did in this episode was just... Mm-hmm. entertaining and it's gonna be fun because the hannibal movies you get anthony hopkins for six hours mm-hmm. we're gonna get 13 hours in over three yeah seasons. double the triple double the amount of hannibal double in one season and times up by three so mm-hmm. it's gonna be fun to it'll be awesome dive more into hannibal and see how he ticks should we dive into the next episode yeah let's dish it up let's do it let's watch some more hannibal here we go previously on hannibal you make jumps you can't explain the evidence explains. An interesting thing about the show is it was showed on ABC or NBC. So yeah, this is it was network, network TV. television, yeah. Yeah, this, this is intense for network TV. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Like, why did he do that? Get too close. Definitely needs target practice. Such a vivid imagination. Yeah, it's terrifying. Chippewa National Forest, Minnesota. So we're still sticking around Minnesota, huh? Apparently. Garrett Jacob Hobbs' cabin. Oh, okay. We're diving into what, where he was doing yeah. other stuff. He had an ample supply. Like him. There's still seven bodies unaccounted for. He was eating them. Had to be some parts he wasn't eating. Not necessarily. Ew. Someone he hunted with? Someone who was in a coma? Who also happened to be someone he hunted with. His daughter? You think he hunted with his daughter? She would make the ideal bait, wouldn't she? Hobbs killed alone. Maybe she wasn't allowed upstairs. Hmm. Someone else was here. Well, yeah, look at all the blood on the ground. Clearly somebody else was there. We do have a an assistant, huh? Freddy's, Freddy's camera. camera. Oh, she got a there sleuth, first, right? Yep. You left behind the hair, you dummy. Did you know Larry was in this show? Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Please stop. 
top that. Back to Quantico. <laughs> Garrett Jacob Hobbs is dead. The question now is how to stop those his story is going to inspire. He's already got one admirer. A copycat. I don't know if I'd take Hannibal for a copycat killer. I feel like that would be insulting to him, yeah, right? He does it his own way. Yeah. He's way too smart and above being a copycat. But, but maybe this Hannibal's a little different. That was class. Um, they applauded. It was inappropriate. <laughs> Before, well, it's a deadly force encounter. It's a lot to digest. You used to work homicide. The reason you currently used to work homicide is because you didn't have the stomach for pulling the trigger. <laughs> you just pulled the trigger ten times. He didn't go down easy. <laughs> How many nights did you spend in Abigail Hobbs' hospital room, Will? Therapy doesn't work on me. Hmm. Ask Hannibal how many nights he spent in the hospital. You're totally functional and more or less sane. Well done. <laughs> did you just rubber stamp me? Yes. Jack Crawford may lay his weary head to rest knowing he didn't break you, and our conversation can proceed unobstructed by paperwork. You were there. You saved her life, too. Do you feel obligated? Yes. I feel a staggering amount of obligation. <laughs> I fantasized about scenarios where my actions may have allowed a different fate for Abigail Hobbs. Like killing her? Jack thinks Abigail Hobbs helped her dad kill those girls. I find it vulgar. Me too. Is this therapy or a, a support group? Both. It's whatever you need it to be. He's very open with Will. Mm -hmm. The mirrors in your mind can reflect the best of yourself, not the worst of someone else. Oh. It's poignant. Elk Neck State Forest, Maryland. Uh oh. What is that? It's not marijuana. Hands. Lots of hands. All with IVs in them. What Growing the fuck? Mushrooms on bodies. Is he getting better yet? Nope. <laughs> How'd he hit that one guy? He hit him when it counted, right? It took me ten shots to drop Hobbs. <laughs> Zeller wanted to give you the bullets he pulled out of Hobbs in an acrylic case, but... He hit him like six times. At least. Yeah, I got stabbed in the third grade with a number two pencil. Thought I was gonna get lead poisoning. No lead in pencils is graphite. See if that helps with the recoil. better this is very last of us isn't it it's a full body i thought it was just arms carefully they start clicking <laughs> yuck they were buried alive with the intention of keeping them that way i mean for a little while Buried alive? Oh, God. He was feeding him something. No restraints? Just dirt. He isn't lazy. No, he's not. So he must have been Ivy dripping them sedatives of some kind, right? To keep him out? Otherwise they would have... Sedatives mixed with nutrients to keep him alive as long as they... Could until the mushrooms? That, that's weird. What the fuck? What sick fuck came up with this storyline? Thomas Harris? He's some kind of special consultant, works for the FBI. Huh. This is unique. I hate these noises. I don't need to listen to it. What 
are the mushrooms for? Why? He could have run IVs to them with their hands in the ground. It wouldn't have had to have been up. Why do that? Maybe he was checking pulses, too, with their hands up. What? Maybe he was able to check their pulse, too, to see if they're still alive. I don't know. This one's still alive! Don't touch him! He's like, uh, yeah, he fucking touched me. You displaced the victim of another killer's crime with what could arguably be considered your victim. I don't consider Hobbs my victim. He is, though. You did kill him. Why did he leave them exposed? To hold their hands? To feel the life leaving their bodies? Yeah, no, it's too esoteric. Maybe he admires their ability to connect the way human minds can't. Yours can. Maybe he just really likes mushrooms. They taste better when they're grown with human bodies. That's weird. What a psycho. I should be analyzing her. Good evening. Please come in. Uh-oh. Hannibal's gonna s Sniff right yeah. through that. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions first? Of course not. I love that you've written so much on social exclusion. Since that's why I'm here, I was wondering- Are you Freddie Lance? <laughs> this is unethical, even for a tabloid journalist. I am, uh, I'm so embarrassed. No, you're not. Your bag. Please, hand it over. It's way too smart for you, lady. Probably read your block. <laughs> You were very persistent about your appointment time. How did you know when Will Graham would be here? Come, sit by me. I would not want to lie to Hannibal Lecter. It's not the guy you want to fuck with. Doctor, patient confidentiality works both ways. Delete it, please. You've been terribly rude, Miss Lowndes. What's to be done about that? Oh, God. <laughs> loin served with a Cumberland sauce of red fruits. Uh, loin. What kind? Pork. Wonderful. Pork. <laughs> Did he just kill that reporter? I don't know. And is he feeding her? I don't know. To Larry? She used to prepare, she liked to call it oriental noodles. Spaghetti, soy sauce, bouillon cubes, and spam. I was very... It's definitely human. Why do you say? Mmm. <laughs> Lovely. So. <laughs> yeah. For sure. You think Will Graham's a broken pony? I think you think Will is a broken pony. I mean, if I had to surmise, I would assume that human meat tastes very similar to pork meat. We're very similar genetically to pigs. So. Right. I've already had my side eval. Not by me. There's gonna be a meal every episode with Hannah, wasn't there? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes me hungry. Mm. It was not the mushrooms, though. They all died of kidney failure. Dextrose and all the catheters. Kidney. It's like friends helping friends, really. It's not just alcoholics who have compromised endocrine systems. Diabetics. Death by diabetic ketoacidosis. Mm. Did you know they were diabetics? Uh, we don't know they're diabetics. No, they're all it diabetics. Pumps them full of sugar. We dug up his mushroom garden. Yeah, he's gonna want to grow a new one. What's he doing with the <laughs> mushrooms, though? Making... He's a pharmacist making drugs out of mushrooms. Mushrooms are used for a lot of medicinal stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One sec. Oh, could you sign here, please? He has his special concoction mm -hmm. separated for his next victims. Yep. He's gonna go and steal her tonight. After she passes out from too much sugar. Ketoacidosis. Oh, they already found him, huh? That would be great. Everyone, 
everyone, please stop what you are doing. Put your hand in the air. Oh, not him. He already put her in his trunk, huh? Apparently. We just checked browser history at Stamus workstation. Am I going to want to hear this? No. And yes, but mostly no. What's he been looking up? Hunting them too, offering competitive pay and benefits in the hopes of using one demented mind. Keep going. <laughs> Did he feed her intel? You are naughty, Miss Lance. No, she's still alive. Oh, and he's mad about it, you think? <laughs> she might not be lo much longer. Who is it? Your worst nightmare. Oh. <laughs> FBI. <laughs> you got all that information from a local detective. Oops. Local police detective looking for a pissing contest with the FBI might have some insight. And evidently did. Sure did. What a dick. You contaminated the crime scene. Just like everywhere you go, you contaminate crime scenes. That's obstructing justice. I can indict you for obstructing justice. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. You don't. <laughs> How did that tip off the... Oh. He found out his mushroom garden was a hit because of that blog, and so mm -hmm. he left earlier. Deer's got weird butt. It's got like feathers almost. When I was Abigail's age, I was obsessed. I even tried to raise peacocks because she raised peacocks, but they are really stupid birds. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. Hmm. Mm. A little local cop. I know people in private security. Not the first cop you got fired. Guaranteed. <laughs> right now, future you is thanking me. I read your article. Tell me about Will Graham. Oh boy. Did he take her? I would say yes. No. Go ahead, stand down, officer. No, Miss she didn't. Right. She's not diabetic, so it wouldn't yeah. work the same. Well, what does he want with Will Graham? Someone who understands him. Graham was right. Stamets is looking for connections. What did you tell him? I need to know. Dr. Lecter's office? He wants to help Will Graham connect with Abigail Hobbs. He's going to bury her. He's just a lunatic. This guy got an ambulance. The Amy practice helped. The journalist said you understood me. I don't. Well, you would have. If you walk through a field of mycelium, they know you are there. They know you are there. The spores reach for you as you walk by. You didn't kill Elton Stamets. I'm still not entirely sure that wasn't my intention, pulling the trigger. If your intention was to kill him, it's because you understand why he did the things he did. It's beautiful in its own way. Did you really feel so bad because killing him felt so good? Killing must feel good to God, too. He does it all the time. And are we not created in his image? <laughs> That's deep. He dropped a church roof on 34 of his worshippers last Wednesday night in Texas while they sang a hymn. Did God feel good about that? You felt powerful. Oh, there you go. 
good and powerful are very different things, though. The old god complex. Uh, I... I sh- I'm struggling with the fact that they're not telling us why people are doing these things. Yeah. They didn't really explain... I mean... Stamets kind of explained himself. Well, not really. He explained that they would be able to connect, but he... You know what is easier to connect than a mushroom? A fucking human being talking to you. Like, that's well, connection. He's a also, psycho. he was killing people he didn't even know. Yeah. Perfect strangers. He cared more about mushrooms than he did people. But how are you supposed to connect with a, even when they become mushrooms? How do you connect with a person that you don't know? I think that was his issue. He was never able to connect with people. That's why. So he's trying to turn them into mushrooms in hopes that he would connect with a random strange mushroom. Like that's just the the logic didn't didn't process for me. But I mean, he's a psychopath, so you're not supposed to understand them. I just like. You like to know why? Yeah. Do we ever really know why? God, you're just full of deep. I mean, do we ever really know why serial killers do it? Yeah. I think usually there's a profiled reason why they do the things. Like, we know that Hobbes was killing these girls as a way to keep his daughter. Right. Sort of fight that emotion of losing his daughter exactly or some yeah. shit like that. that but the mushroom guy maybe they'll explain it more in the next episode He's i don't know fun guy jesus <laughs> <laughs> oh god you guys i'm so sorry right, well, this show's good super fun guy <laughs> <laughs> such an idiot this show's good i'm like in the uh so we have these different Recurring characters. Now we have the the reporter, mm-hmm. which I I feel like she might not last the season. No, if she keeps disrespect for her, if she keeps fucking around. Hannibal's gonna kill yeah. her. Yeah, and then Hannibal has had some great pearls of wisdom. Are you all right? Yeah, sorry. All the all the meal scenes in this made me hungry. So hungry for yeah. some liver and loins. Yeah, lung. Yummy. And uh, the one girl that was reading to Will. I like her a lot. I feel like that's the love interest. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm pretty sure Will ends up probably marrying her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, She's yeah. definitely his grounding stone, if you will. Yeah. The, the fun thing I'm noticing with the actor that plays Will, his name is... Hugh Dancy. Hugh Dancy. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing some similarities between him and... Edward Norton played mm-hmm. Will Graham in the movie. And it, I think that goes to the casting of both of those actors. They have some similar mannerisms. Mm-hmm. And it's not so much Edward Norton I'm seeing. It's, it's like they're bringing to life Will Graham pretty well with his, mm-hmm. you know, personality, his his gift that he has that he uses, the, his, his quirks. Honestly, the only thing that I am not loving about it so far is... Hugh Dancy is obviously good at making eye contact and socially very, very good at being social. Yeah. You can tell. It's hard for him not to look. At, yeah, yeah. As somebody who ha- suffers from that social awkwardness sometimes and and struggles to look at people in the eyes when that, when I'm talking to them, if I don't know them and stuff, he's, he's not doing that so well yet, but maybe that'll It's come. hard for him to look away. Yeah. Yeah. He's really good at making Naturally, eye contact. Yeah. yeah. Hannibal. Mads Mikkelsen is really good at the uh, eye contact. Yes, he is. Yeah. And oh, Mads is doing a pretty good job. He is, yeah. He's, he's very, being very intentional with uh, That last choices. Uh, scene when they showed Hannibal out of focus, he looked like a skeleton standing behind Will. Mm. You could, all you could see is his sunken eyes and just, just the frame of his bone structure of his face. He's a, he's a like very a, a unique skeleton. looking yeah. guy. Um, he's got definite different bone structure. It makes him a little bit more eerie, if you will. Yeah, and I think that's why part of why they probably yeah, cast him. Could be, but also he, he's knocking it out of the park. So he really it's is. hard to yeah. hard a- to hard to Anthony think that Hopkins you could beat is, Anthony Hopkins because he's fucking fantastic. But this guy's he's one doing of the a good greatest job. cinematic characters of all time. Yeah. So he's he's doing a good doing job a so far. Big shoes to fill. Absolutely. So. Well, what else is on your mind after the first two episodes, Animal? I think we just covered it all. Yeah. Yeah. You liking it? 
Yeah. Other than the auditorial stuff during yeah, the those, flashbacks. I don't like his flashbacks, but I'll just take my yeah. headphones out. I don't think he likes them either, but he has to suffer through them. I think that's part of the oh. the uncomfortable auditory it's stuff that you do. It's in his brain, I guess. Yeah. doesn't work for your messed up ears, though. Messed up ears? Yeah. Have some sensitivities to auditory <laughs> stimuli that I think are annoying. Yeah. <laughs> you need to listen to more techno. Oh, God, no. <laughs> well, what should people comment on after Hannibal, first two episodes? Anyone understand the mushroom guy? Like, explain the mushroom guy to yeah, me, William. Your thoughts on the mushroom guy. Why was he, you know... Yeah, explain him. Growing new friends on people, diabetics, too. It was interesting. Other than the fact that the sugar helps the mushrooms grow, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And also, which, uh, which meal did you think looked the tastiest? The loin. <laughs> The loin. <laughs> oh, that egg and sausage breakfast looked pretty good. You know, a human could survive without their loin, so. Their butt? It's the loin's oh, the, like. Underneath the, the hand. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like if you had to eat any part of a human being, the loin's the good one to go for because the person can definitely survive without it. <laughs> okay. Like, they can't survive without most of their organs. You notice how she, how quick she goes to eating people? <laughs> I just, I'm trying. I'm like twenty eight days later. Like, I'm just like Will. <laughs> twenty eight days into the apocalypse, you're starting to think about eating people. I'm just. And you're, I'm, we're two episodes. Into I'm Hannibal just able. And you're thinking, yeah. I'm able to empathize with, with the, with the cannibal. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to rationalize. If you had to look out, folks. If you had to accept a meal from Hannibal Lecter, which one would you go for? I would be most receptive to the loin. <laughs> okay. All right. If I had to, I'm not trying to eat anybody, okay? Okay. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for another two episodes of Hannibal. Yeah, if you want early access or full-length commentary, check out our Patreon link down below. You also get polls to help people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.